Hey guys, so I am getting ready to head to labor and delivery triage. My surclage has been pulling again. So they want me to come in and I've been having um, cramp like, I don't personally think that they are contractions, but my doctor wants me to come in. So my doctor wants me to come in just to get checked out. Unfortunately, it's an hour away. And when I called them around four, it was a two hour and 14 minute drive. And I just told them that I don't, I cannot sit in a car for two hours and 14 minutes and deal with this pain on top of baby B who has been active pretty much all day on top of probably having to go to the bathroom so i told them like hey can i just have dinner with my family my mom's gonna go with me joseph's gonna stay here just in case i i come home which i really think i'm gonna end up coming home but my mom put my hospital bag in the trunk so joseph's gonna stay here i just got ready i just took a shower i just did my hair so i just have my hair like these two french braids so yeah i really think it's just my surclage pulling i told them about this last thursday and they checked it so everything was fine or whatever but today it's really painful i couldn't even nap today so it was so painful every time the babies would move it would just hurt and i was laying down at the time so me walking i mean i still feel the pulling but it's not as intense so hopefully today they'll probably end up removing their saclage and hopefully they do something about it today because I cannot be in this amount of pain. I'm only 33 weeks and one day and I personally want to make it two and a half, three more weeks. So yeah, I guess for vlogging tonight. I had no intention on vlogging tonight. I had no intention of picking up the camera tonight, but I guess that is what we're doing. So we are in, what is this called mom? Triage. And they just took me off of the monitors. I think they kept me on for about 45 minutes since they kept losing the babies. That's the little um, monitor. They checked my cervix and they said that my cervix was soft, but they were going to make sure that um, they were going to talk to the doctor and check my other ultrasounds and they're probably gonna come back in and recheck me. So that's wonderful, it's very painful. Um, I didn't, wasn't having contractions, which is good, but I'm still getting like a lot of pressure down there and my cerclage, like I still feel the rubbing and the pulling. So hopefully we'll figure out what they wanna do because I think my cerclage is supposed to come up and like the next, 25th is when they are planning on taking it out and it's on the 9th so we just have to wait and see but that's pretty much just the update for now so i have been officially admitted to the hospital it is now 1 37 and everything has just been done i just got off the monitor and they officially took out my cerclage which is crazy because I was going to do a surclage update for you guys. So I'm gonna, definitely going to do a separate video on that. But I'm still in the same outfit. <sighs> my mom left about an hour and a half ago. She's about three blocks away from my house right now. She just texted me. My husband is waiting for her to come home. That way he knows everybody's safe. And yeah, I'm admitted to the hospital. I just got my first round of steroids when they took the cerclage out they did a exam and i'm one centimeter dilated they want to make sure that i don't dilate anymore throughout the night which i highly doubt that i am the pressure the pain that i was having from the cerclage it's gone i they gave me finna something for pain and it pff, it worked y'all I was so out of it and they cut the cerclage pulled it out and I didn't feel anything I didn't feel a thing but 
Yeah, they're keeping me here. I think I'm probably going to stay again tomorrow. My husband just was going to bring um, my bag up because I can just sleep in this. I showered and everything, so I just checked I'm not spotting or anything. I just feel so much better. But I do have my phone charger. My camera's all charged up. I have my iPad. And tomorrow morning I can order and they have the best food here which is really really nice um this room is the same kind of like the same room i had when i got my surclash it was just actually next door but yeah guys that is it i got my surclash removed i was technically supposed to get my, my this stitch out in three weeks but the goal was to keep these little girls in for the next three and a half weeks which I know I can do. I'm going to be taking it easy, literally. I'm going to be taking it easy these next couple of weeks. I don't think my babies are going to be coming tonight. I'm not contracting at all. Both babies are active and moving. So, yeah, guys. Joseph wishes he can be here. He doesn't like me not sleeping next to him at night. And he doesn't like me not being at home. Um, he feels really uneasy. Now, 141. I am probably going to text Joseph goodnight and let this ambient kick in, get a good night's rest, wake up tomorrow, order breakfast, and I will probably be probably vlogging tomorrow, probably in the same clothes until Joseph or my mom comes. But yeah, I'm clean. <laughs> I showered. And thankfully I did all that before I got here, you guys. But yeah, story time about this is coming up. This is just a vlog, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I wake up. Good morning, you guys. It is 10.20. I am currently hooked up to the monitors as of now. I have the machine going over here. No contractions, which is really, really good. No vaginal bleeding, no cramping, no nothing. Like, I just went straight to sleep last night. They are about to come in and give me an iron transfusion since my iron levels have been low my entire pregnancy. I just ordered some room service. Joseph is actually on his way here with my belongings since I'm going to be here until tomorrow. I'll have to take one more steroid shot. But as of right now, they are hoping that... If all goes well, then um, these next couple of weeks, we will have two baby girls. <sighs> I'm more than excited. I'm more than excited to get this monitor off because baby B is acting up. Now baby A is off the monitor. Wonderful. Y'all literally have like two minutes left. Please don't do that. She just moved. Okay, they both moved. Oh. Anyways. Joseph's on his way. I'm going to be able to shower and just kind of relax. He's going to stay with me until tomorrow. My mom is home with both of my kiddos. I was able to FaceTime her and Aunt Ava this morning. And also, of course, was still sleeping. But, yeah, that... I slept good last night. The doctor came in and spoke to me about... Um, consent forms for I have the second consent forms for not, not only myself but both babies. Um, I had to, I, have to, I also have to sign another uh, another consent form. Um, something would happen for me to go in labor, V back or C section. We discussed which option was better, and they said that they would want me to go into spontaneous labor on my own. Both of them back on the monitor, but they would want me to go into spontaneous labor on my own. Um, within the next three to four weeks, so that's the plan. My plan is to get them to 36 weeks and just have my babies, you know. But it's a good thing that my surclage was taken out because I feel no pain. I feel no tugging, no pulling, no rubbing, no nothing. I'm so happy. Um, I ordered some room service. I don't know if I said that, but it's on its way. I'm these monitors better be off because I'm about to grub. Hey 
you guys so it's later on in the day and I had iron given to me and it's from 2 to 3 o'clock and it's currently 6.35 I took about a two hour nap after they took out the iron Joseph is sleeping over there I'm about to um, order us some dinner for the night and honestly there's really no plan I got really hot so I took off my shirt I'm going to order dinner and finally shower I've been so gassy and burpy it's ridiculous my nurse just came in and she told me that I have to keep my IV in at least until tomorrow I have one more steroid shot and that's around 1 o'clock in the morning and then after that we do Dopplers ultrasounds on the babies and then hopefully we get released in the morning tomorrow because I don't want to be in Seattle after like one o'clock in the afternoon but yeah I'm about to get the menu so I can order Joseph and I some dinner and honestly I'm going to just shower and just probably watch a movie with him tonight and relax because there's really nothing else planned because we did everything we needed to do today that's why this vlog has been well, this part of the day it's just been pretty lazy for us besides us napping and whatnot but i'm so ready to change clothes it's not even funny and my braids are still holding up which is nice my mom said the kids are doing good they had tacos for dinner and i talked to them before they took a nap and yeah they're all everybody's doing really good so yeah that is the update as of right now all right so for dinner i'm having a potato crusted cod with brown rice and they put a whole like a mad serving of tartar sauce which is weird um two peanut butter cookies and then i still have my chocolate cake from lunch I have a vanilla milkshake with a beautiful Sierra Mist and then for my husband he's getting meatloaf and we're going to be sharing the roasted potatoes. But yeah, this is our dinner and then I have my water cup right here and he's just over there looking handsome and sexy. Well I can say you're sexy and handsome. Sexy ass. Mm, a whole snack. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be having. Then we're going to get some Netflix up there started. Hey guys, so we are finally home and we're actually putting away some laundry that my mother folded up for us. I showered and I rubbed some oil on my belly and I feel really, really good about being home. I ate dinner and right now I'm just trying to let like these bubbles and gas kind of settle. I'm going to edit this vlog and get it up for you guys and try to film a video tomorrow the explanation the story the story time or whatever for you guys um yeah i got three packages from amazon and i would try to post the um boomerang that i took of my daughter helping me bring the packages upstairs but i'm so tired but before i get off i just want to show you guys this bra I think it's from Food of the Loom and I wore it in the hospital, it's actually part of my hospital bag but this bra is so comfortable and I can easily, it's not a nursing bra, it's like a, it's like a sport, regular sports bra with no wires, no pad but I can easily, like if I wanted to, like, I could have easily nursed if I had a baby but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video and then this is the bra and this is how it looks in the back. It's super comfortable, you guys. Excuse my bathroom. Joseph and I literally just took a shower. I have a wig that I'm about to try on that I got. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all of you guys for your support. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Feel the daylight on our skin. 
We are young, we feel everything Yeah, it's starting to begin 